He said, think on these things, those things which you've both learned and received and heard and seen in me do, and the peace of God shall be with you. Now, notice the peace of God which passes all understanding. In Isaiah chapter 26, verse 3, he says that he will keep you in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. So if you are not in perfect peace, isn't that amazing? Jesus said, this is what I'm leaving you, my peace. My peace, not the world's peace which means absence of conflict. My peace is peace in the midst of conflict. And he said, I'm giving you my peace. And he said that he will keep you in perfect peace. How? If your mind is stayed on him. So if you're not in perfect peace and you tell people that, and you will by how you talk, then we can know your mind is not stayed on him. Your mind is stayed on Washington. Your mind is stayed on the border. Your mind is stayed on something other than him. Do you get that? If you want perfect peace, keep your mind stayed on him. Think on things that are good and true and honest and pure and good report and virtue, all that. That's where you keep your mind. But most Christians don't do that. Most, the one people that should have the most peace about us being basically at the end of the world, and yet these are the people that worry about it the most, which just means you don't think you're ready for it. So change. Be ready. Have your mind renewed. Have your mouth renewed. Amen. And start to speak what God has said. I'm telling you, if you start this and you do it consistently, it will change your life no matter what. No matter what's going on around you, it will change. Why? Because your mind as a new creation, is so amazing, so amazing. It's the mind of Christ. It, that's the mind you're supposed to have. And as your mind is renewed to the Word of God, you start to access the mind of Christ. And when you access the mind of Christ, fear goes, worry goes, peace comes. Honestly, all the blessings of God come. The blessings of God can't come to you unless your mind is renewed. Let me put it this way. To the degree your mind is renewed, the blessings of God can come in your life. 